Compression is one of the most misunderstood effects in a producer's toolkit, but it's a very important tool for controlling the dynamic range of incoming audio. So here we've got a louder segment on the synth track, and these are quieter bits. And I'm gonna put some compression on this track to make the quieter bits a bit louder. These are like stabs and they're quite dominant, but I'd like to hear these other little bits a little better. And how compression is gonna do that is gonna be by first reducing the volume of louder parts that exceed a certain threshold, in this case, these parts, and bringing them down to a volume more in line with the other bits, and then increasing the overall volume, which has the net result of making these bits sound louder in relation to these. So I will grab a compressor, put it on this track, and uh, let me just solo it with the compressor disengaged just so we can hear what's going on. So those sort of thunky bass line bits are quieter than the stabs, which really jump out. So let's take a look at the compressor. The most important slider here is probably the threshold. This determines the level measured in decibels above which signal will be reduced. And as I bring it down, you can already hear just from that one adjustment, the other notes getting louder in relation to the chords. Now the whole thing is getting a bit louder and to have a bit more control and to make the result a little more subtle or more extreme, I can adjust the ratio, which is the amount by which the level of louder notes will be reduced. So now it becomes more extreme, but those bass parts become almost as dominant as the chord parts. Again, within. Okay, so by default, Ableton's compressor has an automatic makeup gain determined by this button here. If I turn it off, the result is much quieter. And then you can adjust the resulting increase of output manually here. Typically the makeup should be sufficient, but engaging it, you wanna put the output back to zero, of course. Now the attack determines how quickly the compression kicks in. If I bring it all the way down to zero, it tries to compress right away. The result introduces these distortion artifacts and it doesn't let those important transients in the sound come through. So often if you have some nice transients, whether it's a drum track or something like this synth, which has a nice filter envelope on it, you're gonna want to bring the attack time back enough that you can capture that important character of the sound. The release, determines how long it takes for the compression to disengage after it's been triggered by louder sounds. And Ableton's compressor also has an auto release time feature, which with dynamic signal, it's probably a good idea to engage. <laughs> 